And if you're tired and you're making a mistake, it comes back on you, not the hospital. And they'll, and they'll flat take your license away from you if you make a mistake. Yeah. What are you doing, my dear? I'm just taping it. <laughs> just tape? He's having a vacation. Well, let's take a picture of the house and the flowers. Okay. Come on. Here, just a while take pictures and trees blowing over the wind came through. Just, just don't get hit by lightning walking outside. Okay. okay, Scotty. You can take a picture of Grandma's petunias in the front of the house over here. Uh-oh, I think it's starting to rain a little bit. Yeah. Oh. And if we move up here, maybe you could take a picture of the front of the house. So you can remember where you live. <laughs> uh -huh. and there's Grandma's car. And let's see, we can walk to the side of the house. And this is where your daddy fixed my water. <laughs> And that bush smells so good, and I don't know what it is. What is it, Wayne? This smells good, though. It's starting to rain on it. Let's see. And this is the yard Scott used to cut the grass in. Oh, yeah. And then Kirby used to have his pepper plants over in here. And we stuck them in between the zayas. <laughs> and Grandma cut down the two big trees because one of the limbs fell off and just missed the house. I don't think Grandma wants the wrong one to get away. Got that's, a lock on it and a chain that is, that's Big Steve's door. I can tell Big Steve is from Arizona. Oh, he said anything that's not tied down disappears. He said Arizona was an experience. That's true. Kirby used to have a little place over here where he piled up leaves and stuff around to keep it. It was like an avocado tree, I think it was. Like that. Is that it? That's the avocado tree. They're frozen back. And now it's starting to come back to life. Anyway, Kirby would pile stuff around it in the wintertime and keep it piled up so it keeps it alive. I think he, he was fighting a loser proposition. He was too far north of Florida. <laughs> And the little zaya bushes over here are just starting to come into their own. And I've got to dig out that vine that keeps growing by leaps and bounds and wants to twist itself around the fence and around the tree. And I keep pushing it over all the time. It's got stickers on it. Now you miss the red buds. They just got done blooming. And the little uh, pear trees, they just getting done with the I have water.
Thank you, Wayne. You want a video paper, Scott? Yeah. And now I have water. And this is where I fell down the day you came. And John's warm bed. And this is a mess. Why are you focusing that machine on me, Scotty? Well, I don't get to see you that much. Oh, that's sweet. This is our porch, which is all now known as a Florida room. Five hundred square feet there. That is one big room. My little crepe myrtles, they're all coming along. Why that's a bush decided to bloom and the other ones are just now starting to come along is beyond me. Usually they all bloom together, but not this year. And look how big these cedar trees have gotten, Scott. Yeah. Look at the eyes when you used to live here and they've just taken off by leaps and bounds. Stand way over there, you can get the whole front of the house. Yeah. I wonder if you like your big long film picture. I'm still looking for an eagle to put right on the tippy top of the house over there. But if I sell the house, I guess I'll move to Missouri. <laughs> Arkansas? This is about time for us to go in. I would say so. Windows up. And my number 701, Martin Court. Thank you. Got them yesterday. Okay. Good. 
Yeah. I'll get him again. She said she felt a tingly feeling or something. And oh, Scotty said he felt a tingly feeling or something. I saw it's your imagination. And we started walking down the dock and all of a sudden Bruce here. Oh, I'm going, whoa, whoa. Let's get out of here. This is like Sylvia when she was a little girl there and we lived in Dallas. And she says, Mama, there's a, a tornado coming up at the golf course. I said, Sylvia, I said, get away from that sliding glass door. Now you pull those drapes and your imagination is really running away with you. And all of a sudden the lights went off and you heard this horrible wind. And the neighbor lost his porch and she saw yeah, one. And then plus my dad didn't come home for about three or four hours. Couldn't, they wouldn't let him in. They wouldn't let him. Somebody's roof had got blown off and put in the middle of the street. And uh, who was it? Uh, was it Martin's? that lived on Pebble Beach, his sailboat that was in the backyard, you can see it from the house, was two blocks over. One picked it up and put the sailboat in somebody else's yard, two blocks away. <laughs> the roofs were off. You know, and I just got done saying, Boy, if these winds keep up, we're going to lose our electricity. All of a sudden, we, there was no electricity. Why they, they never saw this cabin because they didn't pick it up because their equipment was wouldn't fit in that hole. It was a pinpoint cavity. That's exactly what it was. So then you had two. No, I had one. No, I had two. Yeah. <laughs> that's what uh, that's what our guinness thought. I said, well, it took them 17 years to get that. So then he got another one while well, he was in the service. Oh, oh History and science. The only two subjects that I like. <laughs> going to do a play, but, uh, you know, we got snowed in, so we had to cancel it. Oh, what a bummer that is. I don't know. I had two parts. Huh. Hmm. I was a sales manager at this store that was about to open on Christmas, and uh, all these parents, they wanted this one certain toy, and the store had advertised that would have a whole lot of them, 
but they only received about 20. Oh. So all the parents were out for his blood and everything. Oh dear, so they got a hold of you? No. <laughs> I escaped to the doors. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, it was Aunt Sylvie and, uh, no, it wasn't Aunt Sylvie, it was Aunt Kathy. And who'd she go? I don't know whether Aunt Lori was with her or whether it was Kathy and her Dee Dee, I don't remember. It was a sale that they were going to have these dolls, certain dolls. And uh, I guess it must have been Aunt Lori so, and Aunt Kathy. Now maybe it was Kathy and her Dee Dee. Anyway, <laughs> they didn't get nothing. They came home from the store and she says, they came home and she says, Mom, she says, those women were acting like animals. <laughs> she, she, she says, they were pulling and pulling. Somebody had a hold of one and somebody was pulling from the other way. And she says, they acted like animals. Jeez. I said, I'm glad I stayed home. <laughs> Well, whatever they went after, they didn't get none. <laughs> oh, well. But sometimes it's really fun to go shopping with them. I don't know what they're going to come up with. But Aunt Kathy's got this little store now. Mm -hmm. Well, now she has videos. I mean, she's got movies that she rents in her store. Really? Yeah. So she's got, it's no blockbuster, you know, big like that. Yeah. But she's got all different kinds of movies that people can come in and rent. I guess the most expensive one is two ninety nine, And then she's got Dollar, dollar, well, ninety-nine cents a dollar. She says for the old ones or something, and dollar ninety-nine for in between. I said you got three prices then. She says yeah, a buck, two bucks, three bucks. <laughs> so I said, oh boy, I'm gonna have a ball when I come to Missouri. I'm just gonna go down to your store and I'm gonna pick out all these movies. Take them home and watch them. I said, just make sure that nobody takes and steals any of my John Wayne, because I like John Wayne. Especially the Westerns. Mm -hmm. I got a John Wayne movie for Dad's birthday. Yeah? Yep. The Searchers. The Searchers. Hmm. I'm embarrassed. Is this where he finds his grandson? Is that? He's looking for his. I think it's his niece. Oh, he's looking. Oh. 